set up here. There was lights here somewhere, right? Strange set up here. We have a cooling tower indoors with two carrier units. Where was those lights? They really did. Yeah, but do you remember how to put those lights on or no? We did some repairs here a year ago. But, uh, hey, follow that cord and plug it in. Hey, they did some, they, something changed here. What was here before? Did they change the ductwork? No, right? All right, this one is short cycling, I hear it. Yeah, this tower last year. Oh, tower's dry, bro. Tower's dry. Let me shut this unit off. These units off. Which one was it? Do you remember? Was it these two? Yeah, but that's shutting off both. I want to shut off the unit. No, that's going over here. Guys, we'll turn you back on. This one looks clean. This one should be clean because it's domestic water, but the other two could be dirty. Huh? No, no. I don't think there's any, even any water in there, is there? You gotta get a bucket. You can't drain it on the floor. It's gonna go downstairs. Look like somebody put a new pump in here. I'm gonna fill this up for now. Strain is clean. We put the high rated valves on this too, right? US valves. Go USA, yeah. Alright. Strain is clean. That's what happens when um Crazy, and this thing overflows. It overflows into this, and then it gets pumped out. What a ridiculous setup! Yeah, somebody drained this, Martin. I see the drain valve is opened. I guess it was drained for the winter, but never, <laughs> never set up for the summer. It's drained. It's not clean, look at the bottom of it. I'm over here filling it with water draining, I'm retarded. I mean, we have to clean this. That's dirty, man. The water's a little dirty. I mean, no, it's clean, but just the color. Huh? I like talking to myself. Bring the light, don't forget. Both compressors are coming on, so it's definitely water. It's a carrier water cooled unit. You got a hot gas bypass. What a crazy setup, unbelievable. Now this 
spin. Not what he's supposed to be on right now. Unless the sensor is just detecting the room temperature. Check out this old blower. Pretty cool, right? Need to grease these up. It's old. This guy's gotta be like 20, 30 years old. Maybe more. Maybe more. Let me see where the cycling switch is for this. Check out those bearings. Wow. <laughs> Look at these disconnects. This is how you know that this is old. This is some old disconnects. I don't know the age, but I know that this type is an old one. See, now the compressors are running. I need something to cycle this. I thought there was something to cycle this fan on and off. I know the pump is still cavitating, not enough water. You hear that sucking, sucking in air. Ooh, I don't know what the hell that is, but I was here a year ago. A little bit over a year. Interesting. Baltimore. The BAC Tower. Put all that stuff I got out of the tower. Just water deposits that dried up. Insane. All right. Let me check, look around a little bit more. I'll put you guys back on. Okay. Plug yourself in a light. Take off the panels. Check the blowers. Make sure nothing's broken. You can see the belt right there is cracked. Take that off. Now, just use the tip. Why are you doing it that way, bro? Which way? Like this, no? Go up a little higher. There you go. Angle the screwdriver. Uh -huh, go at the angle. Yeah, let me move this back. No, no, not that way. Not that way. No? Give me this. Hold the light. We got our new belt on. Hold on, let's see how this, look inside the blower, the squirrel cage, make sure nothing's cracked. Let me see. They got a balancing thing on there. <laughs> Who put the grease? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. They that put, was Victor. You can't put grease on that. It doesn't need grease. That is too funny, bro. It's so fun. Yo, listen, this belt is a little too tight. Let's move these up just a notch. Put a hot gas bypass on this. Okay. I bagged this motor. Give me a light, shine me the light here. See if, no, there's no grease ports on this way, no. I am. Yo, look at that. It's a Westinghouse. Move it, let's get the front. Come on, I thought you go to the gym. Wow, that was. No, 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 move this one. Oh, middle. This one? Yeah, I want to see the tag. Wow. Westinghouse. Bro. Westinghouse test pressure applied. I wonder where this came out from. It didn't come out of these units. You know, Westinghouse makes 50 inch, 200 off. Wow, fellas, check this out. Did they? I guess this was the suction line and the discharge line. Wow, this is cool, bro. I you, I was born already. I was f uh, six years old when this compressor came out. This is a 50BRN0061 carrier. I don't know what year this is. Oh, 2000. Date of manufacturing. So this thing is what? 50, about 15 years old. 15 years old. The units are 15. This tower is definitely way before. Interesting. How's that belt? How's that belt, punk? 
Punk of the Oni. Let me see. It looks, looks nice. Looking very nice. I wonder why they put the hot gas bypass on this. That's strange. I right, cl so. close this punk up. We'll turn it on. We'll take some pressure reading. What does this coil look like? Like what? It's different. Know. You know what? For... It's got half and half. Oh, yeah, it was smaller and bigger. I know. But the other one wasn't like that. These are good units. These, are, these were made well. I'm going to get my gauges. We'll check the pressure on this. Out it's cracked out. Mm -hmm. Alright, you got the gauges for me? Yeah, that's good. This sucks when I go underneath that shit. Pushes look pretty good. Holy shit, bro. What? What's that? That is old as fuck. What is that? Wow, I'm telling you, it's like 80 stuff up here. Holy shit, <laughs> Yo, $10, you won't drink it. Hell no. $20. Dude, I bet you this can is worth a lot of money. Probably is. 20 bucks, bro. Yo, Coca-Cola used to own that? I think they do. Yo, what years? I don't know, look up the E in the back. Keep turning it, let's see. That is awesome, like that compressor. Holy shit, man. It's gotta be 1980s. Yeah, we should take it. Take it, bro, and drink it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I feel like an old man. I feel like an old man. All right, guys. Let me get this off. All right, guys. Not too sure why they uh, installed the hot gas bypass. It's definitely not factory. Uh, the way you know it's been, the way it was uh, raised right off the discharge, uh, <laughs> it just looks ridiculous. Uh, you know, I, I know people uh, that have mistaken hot gas bypasses for a low ambient device. You know, you know um, using it to prevent icing on low ambient conditions. I guess that's what they, their intentions were when they installed it. Yeah, definitely not factory. I see. I could see all the burn marks around the compressor wires, and you can see right there that that white-looking part right there. That's a uh, burning of the insulation. So don't know why they used it. Very strange, but it is what it is, guys. Everything's working fine. Seems to be working. Tower. One. Oh, this blower is awesome. <laughs> That's a cool ass motor, eh, Martin? It's a cool motor. I like it. Old school. I really like that uh, compressor right there. That had to be from an old unit that was here. Oh shit. Huh? What about it? Strain it for what? Where? Oh, for the towel? I know. We gotta get them. I think we did order it. They just never got it. Awesome. It's craziness. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the model number again. We'll write it up. The strainer. Again. All right, guys, that will be it for this. Have an awesome day, boys.